What's up y'all? I want to welcome y'all back to AD Cooks. And on the menu today is an easy, simple breakfast bowl. Appreciate you for tuning in, like, share, and subscribe. All right, what we have in front of us is about four slices of bacon that I uh, cubed up, sort of. <clears throat> so we basically cut them in small pieces and like a cube, and we're just looking to fry this bacon and get it crispy. All right, we got our bacon crispy to our liking. We're gonna go ahead and get this out of here. And you just wanna kind of put it on a paper towel so we can get a lot of that excess grease off. And I hope you all are having a wonderful morning. I am doing this in the morning. So this is what we're gonna be eating for breakfast. And uh, what's amazing about this, lost a piece of bacon. What's amazing about this meal is that uh, you can cook it in a big batch put it in your refrigerator and heat it up the next morning. So it's not like you're, uh, while I'm talking, I'm getting my uh, sausage because we're adding uh, some swaggerty sausage in there as well. I'm using mild. But uh, as I was saying, the good thing about this meal is you can uh, prep it and cook it uh, in a head. So you don't have to get up and cook breakfast the next morning once you cook this. What we're gonna do, and this is about a, uh, about half of a swaggerty sausage that we're using. And we just wanna brown this as well. We wanna kinda chop it up into some decent sized pieces. So what we'll do is let our swaggerty sausage cook and brown. Okay, we got our sausage brown to our liking. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and remove this out. Also, uh, we're gonna, this all is gonna be done in one pan. <clears throat> but what we're gonna do after we've cooked our bacon and our sausage is we're gonna clean this uh, pan at this point. <clears throat> because I don't want to uh, have my, uh, my potatoes sticking and having this debris under the bottom can cause things to stick. So we'll continue to remove our sausage out, clean our pan, and then we'll put our potatoes in. All right guys, what we have in front of us now after we clamped our skillet out, we have us a little butter and a little um, vegetable oil off camera. Let me get out the pack. I should have got that out. But what I'm using is uh, Simply Potato. I used about a half a bag of this. I chopped me up some white onions. And then I also use one of my favorite go-to seasonings, if I can find it. But uh, here we go. It's the Kinder's Blend. So I basically added my chopped white onions, uh, our potatoes, and a little bit of Kinder seasoning on this. And that's where we're at. I didn't show you that on camera, but that's basically all that I did with these potatoes. You also can make your own potatoes uh, fresh. That's a little time consuming in the mornings. I don't want to do all of that extra stuff with potatoes. so. What we're gonna do is go ahead and place this into our skillet. And we kinda wanna create a pancake effect on this and get this spread across our whole skillet. The butter is gonna help brown it and the, uh, the uh, wanna say olive oil, but the vegetable oil is gonna help fry it and crisp it up. Wanna make sure you get you a nice little spatula.
And what we want to kind of do is flatten this out. Want to have it on medium. And you just want to let this cook, you all. Do not mess with it now because we want to build us a nice crust on this. So what we'll do is let this cook, you all, and get it browned. Okay, guys, potatoes have been on for about maybe five to seven minutes. I kind of lost count, but I know it's anywhere between five to seven minutes. And I also wanted to show you these Simply Potatoes. These are the shredded. They also have like a cubed, thicker, you know, like a country style, I guess, type of potato too. You can also use that as well. I like to shred it. What we're gonna do is attempt to flip this over. You're not gonna be able to flip the whole thing over because it's not gonna stick together. So you just kind of have to do it in segments. So we'll take this. Some parts of it are kind of stuck together, but a lot of them aren't. And you kind of want to just do it in little pieces. That's the best bet I, I can tell you to do. We're not looking for a perfect type of hash brown. We're just trying to get our stuff brown and crispy and cooked. And as you can see, we have us a nice brown on these potatoes or these hash browns. Might should get most of this over. There we go. Let's get this side over as best as possible. It's not a big deal, guys, if it falls apart. I mean, they're potatoes. So what we'll do is let the other side brown another five to seven minutes. All right, let's go ahead and do another flip. At this point, we've gotten it on both sides, but we just wanna make sure we didn't miss any potatoes during our flip because there's some that are white still. So we'll do another flip and not waste stuff in your, uh, on your eye like I just did. We'll let these cook probably for another three minutes and just kind of we're gonna do we're gonna let this cook for about three minutes then we'll flip over again and then we'll take off all right guys we went ahead and flipped things over uh, we let things uh, we flipped and then we did it another three minutes these potatoes these simply potatoes this is why I love them because they're semi cooked uh, you don't have to really cook these things and uh, you know they're already kind of cooked so that's why it doesn't take long to cook these and that's why I suggest the Simply Potatoes. Uh, also you may not like onions in yours if you don't like onions in them don't put them in here. Another thing is if you don't like your hash browns crispy don't make them crispy. I like mine a little crispy. So we're gonna go ahead and take off our potatoes. Also, another thing, guys, I wanted to let you know that uh, there's a lot of downtime in cooking your potatoes. We got our eggs to cook after this. Let's turn this eye off. What you can do, cause your meat that you cooked earlier or that I cooked earlier, it's cold at this point. So what you can do is either microwave it or you can uh, semi cook your food and uh, let it cook the rest of the way in the oven. It's up to you at that point, but there is a lot of downtime. I, some breakfast foods, they're just very difficult to cook like waffles. It takes a long time. So you got your meat done and your eggs done, but you're waiting on these doggone waffles to cook. So just a pointer to give you all. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna clean this pot out again because we're gonna start on our eggs and our spinach. And um, we'll go ahead and get that going. Okay, we've cleaned our skillet out. 
and we went in with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Well, what you want to do at this point is take you about a handful of spinach. This is also optional as well, you all. If you don't like spinach, don't use it. So what we want to do is kind of get our spinach to wither a little bit. This may seem like a lot, you all. It is not. Spinach shrinks very fast. As you can see, started out as a big piece. And look at it now. So what we'll do is let our spinach continue to cook. We're going to let these cook for about maybe two to five minutes. Spinach is done to my liking. We're going to go in with us a little butter. We're going to get ready to come in with our eggs. And you just kind of want to move this butter around so it doesn't turn brown on you real fast. Go in with about five eggs. I lightly salted these and added a little black pepper in them. And with eggs, you just kind of want to cook these the way you like cooking them. Uh, I'm not going to give you a tutorial on eggs. I mean, if you all would like, I'll do anything for y'all. But I mean, I'm not gonna waste time on these eggs. So what we'll do is we'll cook our eggs and then we'll start constructing our bowl. I don't think there's anything else that I need to do in this skillet. We'll start constructing our bowl. All right, guys, there was something I left out was my cheese. And we wanna kind of put this on right now so we can have us a nice, melty cheese on our eggs so i'm using a kobe jack cheese you can use whatever cheese you like uh, it's your food and i did turn my eye off and we just want to let our eggs kind of melt and we'll move it to a plate you can kind of cover this too with some foil or our top because this cheese is thick. But what we'll do is let our cheese melt and then we'll go ahead and bowl our breakfast bowl. All right guys, let's go ahead and construct this bowl. What I like doing is I like going in with my hash browns on the bottom. Then we're gonna go in with our uh, eggs. These are our cheesy spinach eggs. Gonna go in with us a little bacon. Go in with us a little sausage. some green onions to top it off and there's also another thing I forgot as well I like jalapenos on mine this is optional as well if you like jalapenos be my guest going with us a few jalapenos make that baby look good And there you have it, y'all. Easy, simple breakfast bowl. Uh, you also can top this with some more cheese on top if you want it to be a little more cheesier. Also, I like putting like a sriracha or um, a uh, nice uh, salsa or something on it as well. You can do that as well. Again, easy, simple meal, easy to make. 
just takes a little prepping because you're doing like three and four different things. But I really appreciate you all for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.